Hi, everybody. Welcome back. You know who I am, Caroline Best of the Dow Horsemanship, Everything Horses and More video library and YouTube channel. So this month, we're dedicating all the videos to horse training or developing horses and developing yourself. And today, we're going to be talking about horse training success, part one, four tips to fix problems with your horse. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to handle challenges and problems with our horses, period. Whether it's groundwork, on the ground, handling your horse, and anything you do, including riding, of course. For me, it really comes down to four areas that will make you successful with horses. So how many of you have heard there are no problem horses, only problem people? I believe that there are problem horses in that we also create the problems through a lack of understanding, misinformation, and unfortunately, ego. So whether you inherited a horse with problems or you've created the problems, the following four tips should help you figure out how to resolve them once and for all. So tip number one, and it starts with this one and in this order. Tip number one, change your perception, your understanding, your lens. How do you change your lens, your perception, what you see, what you interpret? Ask yourself this, is my horse causing the problem or do I make the problem? Am I causing the problem? Number two, question this, is your horse, or ask this, is your horse challenging or are they challenged or possibly both? So often when we buy or rescue or own a horse, we have no idea that we end up inheriting all of these problems. And so often it's a combination that yes, the horse is challenging for us because we don't know how to fix it, but also the horse is challenged. They come with some really negative learned behaviors, their own perceptions and triggers. So while I do believe that we create a lot of our horses' problems, we also inherit a lot of problem horses. It goes hand in hand. But it's important to figure out if you are causing the problem. So I wanna help you be able to identify that. So an example of change your perception, your lens, your understanding would be trail riding. When your horse is unsure of something on the trail and begins to hesitate, balk, refuse or even start jigging in place? Do you make it worse by pushing the uncertainty, pushing them, asking your horse to do something that they can't or won't do? Because that's where you're creating the problem. You're adding to it, creating it, making it worse. So see, changing the way we look at things, perceive them, can help us understand them and can have a really big effect on the way things turn out immediately and in the long run. So in the end, there isn't any problem that can't be solved through compassion, patience. Compassion is understanding, consideration of the horse and where they are, patience and skill. And so for those of you that have fear, this tip can keep you safe if you just change your lens. Pay attention to when things are getting tight with your horse, worried with your horse, and switch gears. Tip number two, change your attitude, you change your mindset. Turn problems into opportunities. I can't say this enough to my students. So when you face a challenge or a problem, shift your paradigm, change your attitude. Turn it into an opportunity. What can you do in this moment to make this a teachable moment for your horse where you both can learn and turn it into a positive experience? So you can start by accepting the situation. Don't fight it, accept that this is where you are. Okay, what can I do now? What can I learn and do differently? Three would be switch your gears and focus on the solution, not the problem. And there's your strategy. And four would be evaluate the options, meaning get off if it's best for the both of you. Evaluate the options. So many of us just get stuck and we fight. Albert Einstein said, 
We can't solve problems by using the same kind of thinking we used when we created them. And, I love this one, insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. I think both quotes work well for our topic today and relate to our frustration, our fear, and disillusionment when facing challenges with our horses. So tip number three, learn your horse. This is about taking the time to watch and observe, study your horse's expression and reaction to stressful situations. Not just when your horse is feeling good and in a good place, but watch your horse in stressful situations. This goes back to tip number two, turn problems into opportunities. So if I know my horse has a problem with a specific area geographically on my property, or my horse has a, a problem with something, an object or a space, or a thing, or a noise, I'm going to strategically set that up so that it becomes a learning opportunity. And a learning opportunity for you, for me, to get more information about my horse, to spend more time watching them, how they handle that stress. Sometimes information, we just need more information. We're so quick to do, but how are you gonna know what to do if you don't know what is going on, what needs to be done? So if you're having a problem and something isn't working for you and your horse and you revert to your old ways, your horse is gonna go back to their old ways too. So like number, tip number two, set yourself up for success by studying your horse first so you can then figure out how to best help them. And tip number four, change your approach. Oh my gosh, what does that mean? So approach is not about technique. Like mindset and perception, approach is about how you choose to handle a situation. It's also the act of doing something differently, taking a different approach. Henry Ford said, if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always got. You'll always get what you always got. So an example would be trailer loading. You know your horse is not gonna go in the trailer. They're gonna refuse it. And so most of us are taught that as we get closer to the trailer, just make it, make the right thing easy, the wrong thing difficult, apply a ton of pressure, and give the horse release when they get closer to where you want them in the trailer. Oh my gosh, how many of you have done this? I know I did many, many, many years ago when I was seeking the advice of a professional, and we spent hours, my horse was drenched, um, yes, he finally did, after almost three hours, by a certified professional, go into the trailer drenched, trembling. He just gave up. It didn't fix anything. He just gave up. So take a different approach, because obviously that one didn't work. And start out by being strategic and taking the time to not just make it happen in one session, but have many sessions that lead up to your horse feeling comfortable enough to load themselves eventually. Again, this just comes back to some common sense and strategy here. Don't just wait to the last minute when you have an emergency or you wanna go join someone on a trail ride and you know your horse is really not ready to go in the trailer, but you're gonna make it happen. So I think that's where we have to be more considerate and patient and responsible and take the time it takes to prepare our horses for those types of situations. But again, it comes back to all of these factors, doesn't it? Your attitude, your mindset, your perception, and your approach. All right, thank you. I look forward to your comments and questions. This is a snippet of the full-length video. May you always be one with your horse.